Hey guys, I'm here today with the brand new Strymon Cloudburst, and I was super excited for this pedal ever since it was rumored to be a thing. Um, some Italian retailer, I guess, leaked it, and I was super excited because it's my favorite Big Sky algorithm now in its own pedal. It's the only reason I really kept a Big Sky, but after getting a Night Sky, I, really, I got rid of the Big Sky because that was really doing it mostly for me. I still sometimes really wanted the Cloud algorithm, and now I have it in its own self-contained pedal, which is actually tiny, as you see next to the Volante here. And it sounds fantastic. It's everything I could have hoped for. Plus it has some additions. I think they're kind of going for the Eventide thing with the Dot 9 pedals. And uh, yeah, like here I have the Black Hole. I recently got this as well. Um, I'll do a separate video on this and we'll actually shoot these out in a uh, video after that. And that'll be pretty cool. But they're doing the thing where um, Eventide is putting single algorithms into a pedal, and yeah, it's, it's pretty great. It's, um, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's the cheapest Strymon pedal by far now. It retailed for $279. I bought this with my own money. And one thing I will say is this is the first time I've bought a Strymon pedal directly from Strymon, and it was actually really, really good service. The thing I really liked is they had Amazon Pay, so obviously since I have an Amazon account, that made it really easy to pay for. And yeah, it was just, they shipped the same day and everything. So yeah, I guess we should really get started. I said it's basically the cloud algorithm, but it's it's way more than just that. And so I have my JX08 here, and I have a pretty simple patch here. I've used it before. It's a sawtooth. And sounds really cool and very kind of you know synth wavy and so we'll start here you can see the settings the uh, mix control is just like the other Strymon pedals uh, the newer Strymon pedals the smaller form factor ones where if it's at three o'clock it's 50 50 mix and it can go full wet um, no line input settings on this but it takes line input without a problem it has stereo in and out, but it's over a uh, uh, quarter inch, so you need an adapter, as you can see here. That's fine. It'll take. I'm doing mono in just to let you listen to what it really sounds like uh, with a mono image, or yeah, mono going in and what it can do. But yeah, so it'll do stereo in, stereo out, mono in, uh, stereo out, and mono in and mono out. I would highly recommend that you use it in a stereo setup with it being the stereo out. But yeah, so. Again. and on with these settings which won't be very great but kind of sounds like a spring reverb so cloud algorithm is a multi-tap delay that is diffused into a um, reverb and yeah it's it's the way i like reverb done and yeah so at the shortest settings it's not special at all but the pre-delay on this thing is insane. So there's no feedback control on the pre-delay. Uh, so it'll just be one repeat, but I have it all the way up. Listen to how long it takes. Interesting enough, if you listen to that, you can hear the diffusion or smearing going on in the algorithm. So. Uh, there's no diffusion control like there is on the Big Sky on the Cloudburst. It's kind of handled by Decay. Decay handles a bunch of parameters behind the scenes. All the controls handle a bunch of parameters behind the scenes. But Decay, the higher you turn it up, it increases Decay, Diffusion, and some other parameters. But yeah, that's a long pre-delay. No feedback, so it's not really useful in my opinion as, you know, a delay, but it's there and then you know modulation's completely off it can go crazy at the just no you can turn it into a kind of a modulation effect and then let's go with the tone control all right so Let's go uh, noon on the tone control, which is neutral, I believe. No pre-delay, and we'll go into what the cloud algorithm is known for, and that's big ambient spaces. We'll go around here. As I've said in my shootout between the night sky and the big sky, the cloud algorithm 
kind of doesn't sound that great without mod. I mean, sure, it's big. Sure, it's spacious. But it sounds kind of stagnant. So that's where the modulation really comes into place, especially with Cloudburst here. So we'll start about there. Listen to those reverb tails, and it, it's really starting to get a little modulated. Let's uh, go to a lower octave. Yeah, I should have said this in the beginning, but you really need to listen to this on good headphones or good stereo speakers, so. Yeah, so there's that cloud that I'm just, that's what I really like. So I like the modulation right about here, and I like turning the decay power there, and then this. Jeez, okay, that is exactly what you expect from Cloud. I'm gonna turn the decay all the way up, and we can hear that legendary, at least what made the uh, Big Sky legendary, is that long decay. It's almost like a freeze. Not quite. But yeah, it's gorgeous. If I uh, change the decay, you can hear the uh, reverb or the delay lines change. Kind of cool. But yeah, so that, that just, that's amazing. So we'll go ahead and keep it to around here so it's a little manageable. We'll go into the new ensemble feature. So from what I understand algorithmically, what the ensemble feature is doing is uh, it's splitting the input into multiple bands and then it's adding um, like frequency bands and then it's adding harmonics to those frequency bands. So it's not really pitch shifting, it's just adding some extra harmonics, which then in turn can sound like pitch shifting. For instance, it kind of sounds like a fifth up in some cases. But I'm going to use something like this here, something very, very guitarish. This is really tuned for a guitar, but it sounds obviously wonderful on the synth, as you can hear by here. So, actually, let's hear that without the reverb. And with uh, kind of where I like it to sit. And then we have a uh, piano um, here, which is uh, like soft. So we have a soft ensemble. And it almost sounds like a shimmer. It, it, it's, it's like, it's a spectral shimmer. I don't know how to describe it. It's very unique. But here's where it gets crazy. When I switch this to Forte, which is the strong setting, it, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It sounds like you get a, the, like it says, an ensemble. You get a string ensemble backing it. And this works uh, differently with every type of input, so it's very dynamic. I'll switch it off here. Let's go to another... This is a fifth, like, plucked thing I got going. And normal. 
gorgeous. Let's add the soft mode, piano. Doesn't do all that much there already, but. I think that sounds absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's just that's amazing. Um, yeah, let's let's turn that off there really quick. And one of the other things that I really like to do with the cloud algorithm is, um, well, at least in this case, because the big sky also had a bloom setting. This can kind of get there with the pre delay. So what we do is we add a lot of pre delay. It's, it's amazing. So um, I'm going to turn the pre-decay hour delay down, and we're going to add a little bit of the Volante here. This is mono in, mono out on the Volante. That's what it sounds like. I don't have too much. Uh, let's, let's add some repeats to it. I'm kind of letting you listen to what something with a lot of modulation. Let's turn up some mechanics sounds like through the cloud burst. Let's go back to here, I guess. Sounds gorgeous. Let's add the ensemble feature. Amazing. All right. Well, I mean, I'm almost done with this. Uh, it's, it's a pretty easy to follow pedal. It's super simple in terms of the controls. There's no secondary controls other than a power up mode where you can change some of the settings like MIDI and things like that and spill over. It does spill over. It does uh, t uh, trails and everything. I don't have that turned on right now. Um, I'm going to go to one of my other banks. I believe I have. Um, I mean, it's kind of a pad, so... Kind of like a brassy pad. Let's add this. And here, so here's the de delay. And then we'll add the cloud burst. Add the ensemble. That's Cloudburst, and it's absolutely fantastic. 
I'm glad I got it. I'm glad it came out. Um, yeah, so it is the cheapest. I mean, that's saying a lot, but it's the cheapest Drymon pedal to date. It's $279, which is still very steep. It's um, $30 more, I believe, than the black hole. Um, let me do the math here. It's uh, 280 so 50 60 yeah, so it's it's thirty dollars more than the black hole. I think the uh, black hole's two fifty. So yeah, I, I'll do a review on the black hole, which I absolutely love too. I have a space still, um, thinking about selling the space now that I have black hole, which is the only algorithm I use on the space. But I'll do a shootout between these two, and I'll also do a, a standalone review of the black hole. Black hole is the only other algorithm I can think of off the top of my head besides stuff that the night sky can do that are as ambient as I really like it. Um, they're both some of my favorite reverb algorithms. And yeah, so, I mean, it is a one-to-one -one comparison kind of because black hole is a single algorithm from Eventide. Cloudburst is a single algorithm expanded in this case uh, from Strymon. Um, you don't get an AC adapter in the box for the Cloudburst, which, I mean, I guess is understandable for the price point they're trying to hit, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, not much more I can say about it. It does have, again, stereo in, stereo out through TRS adapter, so that's another added cost you'll need if you're running a stereo setup. It does have USB-C, which I believe takes MIDI as well as uh, doing firmware updates. I'm not sure about the MIDI, but it, that's what it's really designed for is uh, firmware updates. And it has US or MIDI over TRS as well as expression input. So, yeah. Is it worth it? I, I think it is. I think cloud uh, the cloud machine from the Big Sky is one of the best reverb algorithms in existence. I know it's aged, but I think it's aged well. I mean, a lot of the old uh, lexicon reverb algorithms people know and love are ancient by today's standards. They go back to the 1970s. So like 1978, I believe, with the 224. And the hall on that is still fantastic. I Cloud um, is a, uh, like, it, it's honestly a classic algorithm by this point, And obviously so is uh, Black Hole. So yeah, um, I think it's worth it, especially if you're, your music making falls in the ambient side. I would say it's not worth it if you want to use it for short reverb um, algorithm style things like slap uh, or like just room reverbs. I don't think it does a very good job of those. It can with the expanded decay control, but yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know what more to say about it. Absolutely awesome pedal. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Anyway, thanks for watching.